Welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 24, Machines. I am TJ the Obscure with you, and today we are playing Derelict by Fornan. Fornan is one of my favorite map makers, I think. Uh, we always, always love Fornan's maps. He did say that this one is maybe not his best work, simply because he kind of ran out of time. But that is perfectly fine with me. Did they change the texture of sand, or is just everybody using resource packs? It's because once again it's in 1.14 and everything everything looks so very new and different to me. But maybe they did just change the texture of everything. Uh, welcome to Derelict by Fornan. Uh, yep. Uh, dip, 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 let's just skip that. Uh, it's fairly flawed. I know he was happy with the aesthetics and I think he focused too much on the aesthetics as opposed to the gameplay. Which is kind of the opposite of Fornan's usual style I would say. And I I do want to point out that Fornan has made, I think, one of my all-time favorite areas, uh, which is in Kitten's Revolt. It's, um, the I think it's Clockwork Caverns is the name of it. Anyways, this map has three wolves for you to find and place in the monuments. Only use the wolf from the specially marked boxes for this purpose. Do not leave the boundaries, yada, yada, yada. Have fun. Fantastic. Uh, we have just a tiny, tiny bit of cobble. And we must decide what to do with it. Yeah, you like go much further down when you shift now. It really threw me off in the last map when I was doing the parkour. Um, but whatever. Let's, uh... I mean, if I'm going to make anything, it's going to be a pick. Because we can attack and break blocks with it. And let's go ahead and tear down some of Fornan's fantabulous creations that he spent so much time on and get ourselves some blocks I guess we could have gone for like a shovel and a sword or something oh but that should be good let's make sure to not forget our crafting bench I may do more than one episode on this map depending on how much we like it just cause just cause Fornin I think has earned that right in my book um, and because I do tend to enjoy his maps so much. Basically, if you want to have a multi-episode jam from me, then uh, you got to kind of prove yourself first. Is how I'm doing it. It's because there's, there's too many maps. Too many maps to play, gosh dang it. Um, okay, well, so far there's not a good indication. They did change spawner textures, didn't they? I think that those are phantom spawners. Ooh, gosh. That's kind of scary. Um, I don't see any wood. I don't see anything that might indicate where we're supposed to go at this point. Let's hope that they cannot see me and stuff. Uh, offhand charm, a crossbow. Okay, this is my first time with a crossbow. I don't really know how it works. And we're just going to dig down so that these guys cannot get to me. Um, yeah, and that... Strength... When, when killing a mob in melee, gain strength 4 for 3 seconds. Interesting. Uh, let's go run away, run away, run away. I'm assuming that this is going to be the first dungeon. Alright. Well, that's all of our blocks, <laughs> pretty much. Um, okay, well, already a pretty terrifying start, I must say. I don't know how this works. Uh... Okay, do you have to load it and then shoot it? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. That seems kind of kind of clunky and strange to me. Let's go ahead and do that. It does go further down. Um. Although I think we're supposed to go this direction.
Mr. Skelly. Why did I think pickaxes were significantly stronger than that? We have one piece of food. Uh, no way to cook it though. Okay, we need to stay out of range of the spawner there. Man, Fornin, this is this is pretty rough, guy. Oh, we don't want to use all of those. We want enough for a sword at least, right? Let's do that. And we'll take half of those. Uh food. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of guys. That is a lot, a lot of guys. I think we may need to bypass things here. Otherwise, we're just going to end up burning through all of our resources too quickly, and we're going to run out of food as well. So let's go ahead and dig down and disable the spawner. Oh, I didn't know you were going to be there, guy. I think that we'll be safe doing this. But I could be wrong. That's just more of the zombie dudes. You guys cannot get to me, correct? Yeah, I think I think we're safe. Although I still feel very very nervous doing this. Uh, a little bit of light, to maybe slow things down. Maybe there was somewhere else we were supposed to go that I just totally missed? I'm not sure. But we need to do that. And... Let's hope that there's no skellies or anything. And let's bridge over here and disable the other spawner. Kind of what I was worried about there. I don't think they can get to me from here, though. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think we're I think we're safe. He's he's so good with level design. I like it a lot. And maybe we can actually get some food so that we can eat and not die. Perhaps. Okay. They seem to have gotten rid of the sweeping edge. Okay, so the sharpness four does see, or the strength four does seem to be really, really helpful. It allows us to one shot the zombies. It's very, very resource deprived. Oh, a coal block. Interesting. Come here, guy. Come say hello. Ooh, and some armor as well. Um, I guess... I guess we'll go ahead and eat that. A little bit of health, right? Uh... Is there... I'm wondering if there's another spawner up here. I guess we'll have to investigate. I don't think so. I think these guys have just kind of built up. They, yeah, they changed the texture of like everything, didn't they? Man, I clearly have not been keeping up with the news. Uh, we need blocks, although our pickaxe is getting... Getting kind of low here. Uh, hopefully that's enough to get us to the end or to some more cobble at the very least. Watch out for creeper spawners.
The mobs also seem to be spawning in kind of weird. Not sure what that's all about. Arrows. And sand. What on earth would I need either of those things for? I don't have a bow. I don't think we even have access to string at this point. Although I could be wrong about that, I suppose. Things are really opening up now. Um, it seems to just be the zombie dudes. In terms of mobs. The yummy yummy foods. And yummy yummy strength as well. Uh, some cooked rabbit. And we now have enough cobble for a furnace. Gosh, I really need to figure out how this works. Oh, we do have a bow. Gosh, I'm so... 1.14 is just really confusing me. So you have to load it, right? And then you right-click again to shoot it. And you have to hold it down, right? Yeah, I don't I don't like that at all. Huh. Okay, well. Whatever, we'll uh we'll have to get used to it. Oh my gosh. Um no that's new. It does stay loaded. That was a terrible shot. Ooh, gosh. This is gonna be... kinda rough. Uh, yeah, kill, kill that guy... in the ceiling. That would be fantastic. In fact, I can probably let them just do that on their own, I think. These guys are gonna harm us with thorns. Probably want to try to avoid them as best as possible as far as melee goes. All right, Mr. Slime, you can go ahead and suffocate him already. Pretty, pretty please. There we go. Let's aim for the guardian since the slimes are not going to really pose too many problems. I think I hear more maybe above me. Oh, I keep forgetting about the slime and stuff. Or about the uh, the strength, I mean. That'll actually make killing them pretty easy. Uh, let's switch to the cook rabbit. And if we kill that guy, it'll give us the strength. And then we can easily dispatch with the guardian. We got the zombie guys coming for us. Um, there's that. Oh, there you are, my zombie friend. Oh, this uh, this area is really. I don't know what to think at this point, to be honest. Where's your guys' spawner at? I think that's it. And I don't think they can get to us. Do we want to go up here? Uh, I'm having trouble seeing. Did we ever check this? Yes, we did. We have more arrows. Is that what we're doing? Are we going up? Oh, there's a hallway right there. Gosh, I didn't even see that. Ooh, okay. Okay. Very intense so far. Very, very intense. Uh, block that off. This almost looks like it's taking us outside. I imagine that that is going to be... the wool. There's a pressure plate. 
Huh. That seems kind of strange. It could be a boss fight, I guess. I really hope not, but it could be. I have no... Oh, no, I do have some wood left. Let's go ahead and make a few more torches. And I think that we're ready to to go. Actually, let's grab a few more blocks as well. And there's like there's like a hallway over there, one over there. I think I see maybe some zombies over in that direction. Uh, it's a chest. And that is just a spider. Whoa, okay, they must have um changed Spider's hitboxes or something. Jump boost. Let's just get away from there so that we don't set off the spawner. Uh, anything? What is that? Is that a button? A furnace, maybe? I have no idea. Um, stop following me, people. Okay. Let's do that. And block off line of sight. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't want to step on this pressure plate. Oh, come on, come on, guy. Stop moving around so much. Uh, eat some more food. Yummy, yummy food. There's that. There's that. And... Let's make use of our... thing here. God, I really do not like the crossbow. It's, it's kind of hard to... hit things. Or maybe not. Maybe not. I, th I think that's a furnace. Go away. We're gonna have like infinite slime, slime blocks at this point. Okay, there's you. A smoker? What on earth is a smoker? Am I playing a new game? Is this modded Minecraft? Where am I? What is going on? Is he gonna walk on the pressure plate? Let's hope not. And what is that? I have no idea, but we're going to take it. It's because... Uh, destroy... And destroy... Uh, none in the back. I'm thinking the pressure plate might take us out of here. Orange wool has been retrieved. Fantastic. A grindstone and a smoker. Okay. I have no idea what those are or what they do. But I'm sure we will figure it out eventually. Let's grab some more blocks and see what the heck this pressure plate does. Um, oh gosh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, that did not work very well. Uh, okay, we're just gonna block out then. Um, yeah, I'm having mixed feelings about the map so far. Some interesting things going on. I think simply because I'm so new to 1.14 that I'm gonna be a little... 
bothered by some things and just trying to adjust. Like, I don't like shifting now. Um, I think, you know, I've read a little bit about the grindstone and stuff. I think the grindstone is for, like, repairing items now. Maybe. And the smoker, is that just, like, a different kind of furnace? Or maybe the smoker is not even anything that 1.14 added. It's just something that Fornan added himself. Anyways, we got one wool down. I do kind of want to go around and kill spiders just so we can get some string and get a regular bow. Be fantastic. Uh, there's bunny rabbits. Okay, I see something over here. I was going to say, I, I'm hoping that we can find the monument or something. So that we can start to get better established. That doesn't look like the monument, though. That looks like it's likely going to be another dungeon of some kind. Just because I see spawners up top. Uh, there's spawners in that direction, too. Well, then... Let's, uh, you know what this reminds me of is, um, Star Wars. Tatooine. Um, or even the, the place where they do the, uh, and maybe that is Tatooine that I'm thinking of. Where they do the, uh, the races. Lots of, lots of emptiness. Okay, well, we got one objective down. Like I said, I, I may do another video on this. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for now. Can I cook stuff? I think that this is just a renamed and possibly retextured furnace. Oh, it's cooking stuff much faster now, isn't it? Repair and disenchant. Huh. Okay. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.